I am very excited to bring you what I think may be the best Faraday cage you can make on the cheap. I wanted to get a larger cabinet for my Faraday cage. If you haven't or have seen my previous video on Faraday cage made out of a garbage can, that is 100% successful and has been very popular. People really like it. I really like it, but it's somewhat confining in size. So I went and found this $800 six and a half foot by three foot storage cabinet on Craigslist for $160 and went down and bought it for $100 cash. So for $100 cash I have a, a very large storage uh, cabinet that I can put my electronics in there in case of an EMP. It's also lockable but uh, that's uh, a side benefit. So when I uh, put my radio in here to test the, the, the efficiency, effectiveness of this blocking radio waves and possibly EMP waves, um, I was able to hear the radio. Now, I have one rule in a Faraday cage, and that is zero radio signal. You can have static, because that's not a signal, but no radio. Um, I have a lot banking on electronics. I've got an entire uh, solar panel system and all the electronics in the home that we plan on using if we have to. And so I cannot uh, jeopardize the reliability of my Faraday cage. Well, uh, when, when I was starting to put this together, I put the radio in, I could still hear, hear the, the FM radio. So I realized that I have a bunch of these up uh, that I, in my attic, and these are insulation panels. They are four feet, feet by eight feet, and they're used when you build houses with brick. Ours is built with brick, and they put this in between as a as a barrier. So it's kind of super shiny on one side and kind of a dull finish on the other side. It doesn't make any difference which side you use when you put it inside. But I decided to use that and line this with insulation. I figure an extra layer of uh, insulation would help and it definitely helped. When I started putting those in, as soon as I started putting them in I could tell the difference in the radio signal. But when I closed the doors it still had a radio signal. Then what I did is I took my flashlight in the garage, turned the lights off, put the flashlight inside this this uh, cabinet here and I could see light coming through the cracks and I could see all the way through into the cabinet and so I got some of this uh, 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 tape. This is not duct, well I guess it is duct tape, but this is metallic duct tape. I got it in the ducting section of Home Depot. And this is the uh, cold w weather 3240A, uh, kind of wider, heavier stick uh, version of that tape. Hope you can see that. There's a lot of reflection on here. Um, there we go, it's kind of out of focus. But as, as soon as I put my first layer of that up on the, the uh, hinge, the side here, uh, the radio signal took another great big dip. So um, I am, uh, once I finished get that, getting, getting that in, I put the radio in, and you may not know it, you are right, you're, you are on the cabinet here, and look at this. There was absolutely no radio signal going inside this cabinet uh, because of the way I've built this security cage. This is absolutely awesome. Um, so let me just go over to you how I built this on the cheap and it's 100% blocks 100% of any detectable radio waves. Now, is this going to work in an EMP? No one knows. The honest answer is nobody knows. Uh, because you can't know until you've tested it, it, it under an EMP machine. I'm not going to do that, but I, I will bank my future on this working because zero radio, radio waves work, uh, get in. So whether I'm putting it inside of a, an aluminum box or a coated bag or a garbage can or a cage or a storage cabinet, no radio waves means that's the best as, as good as it's going to get. So uh, this what I did is I just cut these panels 
to size. Again, doesn't make a difference whether it's silver or, or shiny on the outside. Line the, the doors, lined the top, line the sides, lines the back. I also have a line there underneath the bottom of that, on, on the bottom side of the, of the bottom shelf there. The whole thing is, is covered in, uh, in this uh, insulation. Then I um, noticed also that they, when they built this, they cut this corner right here for some reason, and so that I could actually see through here. So I had a little fla a flap here, so when the door closes, it actually covers that flap. Now you may just be able to just take some tape and, and you know, metallic duct tape and put it in here and cover that the same way, but this is how I, how, how I decided to do it. And then there was a, I could see uh, directly through here, because this is where the, the, uh, the little lock comes up, so I put a piece of that tape across there. So this is 100% uh, usable for me. I'm 100% confident that I've added everything I could, I could spend thousands of dollars on in cage um, <clears throat> or have a storage unit, a uh, storage uh, sh cabinet that will work, that I can walk in, grab my tools, and, uh, and uh, still when I'm done, put them back in, close it up, and know that they're safe. So, um, I highly encourage you to do something like this if you're concerned about storage space and an EMP, whether it's uh, solar or man-made. Just a note, uh, when, as I was testing this, and I test heavily everything that I own uh, that's going to be affected by a possible EMP, is that I noticed that uh, the hinges were kind of, kind of, uh, cracking so I have a double layer of this tape right here on all the hinges so you may want to do the same thing or even have additional layers that's one reason why I have this here to keep uh, keep it right handy in case I need to put more layers on there but it seemed like at this point two layers seem to work well on the hinges if you do build a Faraday cage like this and you are going to use, which I really recommend, this uh, metallic duct tape. Do me a favor, and if you're going to be using this uh, insulation too that you can get at Home Depot, uh, do me a favor, let me know if by putting up just the uh, metallic duct tape, if that uh, makes it uh, uh, EMP proof to our you know, standards, or if uh, that didn't work, and if you put in this, if that's what you needed, a combination of both. I put this in first. That didn't work all the way to my, my uh, high level of expectations, and when, but when I added this, it did. And I'm wondering if that's all you need, because you may not have to buy this. This is all, all the, very inexpensive at Home Depot. Um, but uh, let me know if you build it, uh, which, what works uh, for you. Now, the next thing I want to mention to you is what I have in here. I've got my... Uh, anything that I feel that's going to be affected by an EMP, and that's going to be anything that has a circuit board. So I'm also keeping my tape in here, uh, just so if I uh, need it again, it's, I know where it is. But I've got my uh, LEC, um, my fluorescent lights in here. I love these because they really reduce the the number of watts I use. I use them all through my house, and that's why that's why during Hurricane Ike, we were able to. Uh, power up my entire house on the generator and five other houses. Um, I've got my cordless electric tools in here. I've got the, uh, the uh, electric char battery charger. I've got my 1500 watt uh, pure sine wave DC to AC inverter for my solar panels. I'm keeping my, of course, my radio in here. Um, there are some things that I don't have in here right now. For example, my ham radio. I've got my uh, amplified electronic uh, earmuffs, so if someone breaks into the home, I can turn those on, hear what's going on. I've got my computer backup, so all my computers in my house are in here, uh, backed up and protected. I've got my night vision, a headlamp, watch, uh, my tactical flashlights, which are LED. I've got my um, battery uh, desulfonator. I've got my control panel, uh, um, uh, MPP solar control unit here. Um, then down here on my wife's shelf, we've got our, our uh, wheat grinder, a hand mixer, her bread mixer. I've got my communications uh, shelf down here uh, with my infrared, my mirrors radio, my um, MRS, or is it um, FRS uh, radios there, 
battery chargers and uh, I'll be putting it down here is my um, chainsaw. Now I've kind of pretty things up here to kind of give you an idea what you can put in here and what I'm putting in here but as soon as I'm done I'm going to be boxing these things up so they take less space and I can you know, use, my, use my space more readily. Um, what I would like to do is find out from you what you would think would be important to have in a Faraday cage and what you are putting or uh, what you will put into a Faraday cage or if you have any questions should this be in a Faraday cage make those comments below but whatever you do if you're at all concerned about EMP this is by far the cheapest way I found to do huge amounts of storage in one place and have it absolutely solid uh, protected from radio signals which indicates to me on the FM band that it'll be protected from an EMP so hopefully this is helpful hopefully yet you you are prepared way before you need it um, and this is a LDS prepper reminding you if ye are prepared ye shall not fear